Are you on the hunt for an easy yet effective way to bring your architectural sketches to life? Imagine transforming those sketches into stunning, realistic renders, almost as if you're seeing your designs come to life before your eyes. Whether you're a seasoned architect or a student mastering the art of architecture, finding the right AI tool to make this magic happen is crucial. And guess what? You've landed in the perfect spot. In today's video, we're diving into the world of Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111, a top-notch image generative AI tool. I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to install this program, load the essential checkpoint models, and utilize the incredible controlment extension. This powerful feature lets you steer the output to match exactly what you've envisioned. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Liking and sharing our video also supports us immensely. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Now, let's kick things off by setting up Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. First things first, to run this AI program locally on your computer, there are a few requirements you need to meet. NVIDIA Graphics Card is highly recommended for almost all generative AI programs. To install Automatic 1111, you can head over to its GitHub page, link in description. Scroll down and you'll find detailed installation steps. If you find this process a bit complicated, I've previously made a video that walks you through the installation, which you can find linked right up here. For a more user-friendly installation option, you might want to check out a software called Pinocchio. It simplifies installing Automatic 1111 along with other top AI tools without the need for any coding or hassle. I have covered how to use Pinocchio in another video, which you can also find linked here. Now, for the exciting part, getting started with your project. Begin by visiting the Civit AI website to download a checkpoint model that's specially trained for architecture. This model is fantastic for creating amazing exterior images. Before we dive deeper, make sure to download the SD 1.5 base models, as today's tutorial is specifically focused on working with this type of checkpoint model. Once you're on the Civit AI website, take a moment to scroll down. There, you'll find all the essential information about the model, including detailed instructions on how to use it. An exciting feature you'll discover is a gallery of images created with this base model by other Civit AI users. These images not only showcase the model's capabilities, but also provide insights into how each image was crafted. We'll delve more into this a bit later, but for now, let's focus on downloading the checkpoint model. To download it, simply click on the download button. When saving the file, navigate to the Stable Diffusion Web UI folder on your computer. Within this folder, go to the models directory, then find the stable diffusion folder and save your file right there. Now it's time to launch stable diffusion automatic 1111. To do this, simply click on the web UI.bat file and wait for the web user interface to open in your browser. Once it's up and running, you're all set to start transforming sketches into stunning realities. First up, click on the checkpoint model, refresh the blue icon button here. In the drop-down menu that appears, select the model we downloaded, which is Architecture Exterior V90. Next, we're going to use the Control Net tab. Here, drop your sketch image into the designated area. Keep in mind that your sketch should ideally be 768 by 512 pixels. We're using this resolution because most SD 1.5 models are trained on images of this size, making it optimal for our purposes. After you've uploaded your sketch, choose Line Art as your control type model. Remember to tick the Enable and Pixel Perfects checkboxes. Now adjust the width to 768. Change the sampling method and increase the sampling steps to 30. This will enhance the detail in your generated images. Set the batch size to 2, allowing us to generate a pair of images to choose from. For the positive prompt, take inspiration from the images on Civit AI that were created using this model. 
Describe the desired appearance of the house, including materials, environment, lighting, and other aspects. Conversely, use the negative prompt to specify what you don't want in the image. As always, all the essential links and prompts can be found in the description below. When you're ready, click on Generate to watch as your sketches come to life in two unique renditions. Take a look at these two images we've just generated. They're absolutely stunning. While there are slight differences between them, like variations in colors and lighting, the key takeaway is how well Stable Diffusion followed our sketch input in ControlNet and adhered to our prompt instructions to deliver these results. Remember, you can always hit Generate again to explore more options or tweak your positive and negative prompts for even finer results In this example, I'm really impressed with the lighting and overall feel of one image, but there's a small issue. The AI added birds in the sky, which we don't want. Let's fix that by using the in-painting feature. Just click on this color palette icon here and you'll be directed to the image to image tab. Here you can mask the parts you wanna change. Make sure to clear out our previous prompts and replace them with specific instructions for the adjustments. In our case, to remove the birds, we'll type clear blue sky. Adjust the only masked padding pixels to around 60 and play around with the denoising strength, starting with a higher value and adjusting until you get the desired result. And there you go, the birds are now gone. To further enhance our image, let's upscale it using the Ultimate SD Upscale extension. You can install it from the Extensions tab here. Click Install and wait until a message confirming that the extension is installed. You want to restart Automatic 11.11 by closing the CMD window and starting the web UI again and then you're ready to use it. In the image to image tab, set the denoise strength to 0.2. Then select ultimate SD upscale over here and opt for the four ultra sharp upscaler. Make sure to adjust the scale according to your needs. In my case, I want to upscale the image twice its size. And then click generates to upscale your image. Notice how it becomes more detailed and higher in quality. Closely matching our original sketch's real life appearance. This workflow is applicable to any sketch. Just replace the sketch on ControlNet and adjust the prompts. Remember, you can emphasize certain details by enclosing them in brackets. For example, if you want a red tiled roof, just specify it in your prompt. The result, a beautiful house with the exact roof you envisioned. You can then upscale the image for an even more impressive outcome. As you become more experienced, feel free to experiment with different checkpoint models and control net types. The beauty of Automatic 11.11 is its versatility and best of all, it's completely free, no subscriptions or fees. That's all for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. For those of you who are AI enthusiasts or interested in learning how to monetize AI tools, check out my other videos. I cover a wide range of AI-related topics on this channel.